What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to be just kind of discussing and giving my thoughts on the current status and situation we have with the party never ends, grade A, just all of this stuff, Juice's music even. So we're going to dive into all this, but before we do start, I just want to give a shout out to all channel members. Thank you guys for supporting me and the channel and making it possible for me to keep doing these videos. If you want to check that out, you can look at the join button listed down below. But with all this being said, we're going to dive on into everything. All right, so I'm going to start with the Juice community as a whole. Honestly, there's been so many times that I've seen and we've all seen where it kind of goes back and forth between the community will show support to the leakers and then they'll show support to the label and i would say the time we're in right now is a lot of the support is going towards the label because we're obviously not getting leaks anymore the last couple group buys i don't even think fully finished so i think it's safe to say that the community was ready to wait for the party never ends and kind of focus on the album we're about to get the only problem with this is it almost looks like what's happening this year is an exact repeat of what happened last year. Now, don't get me wrong. We still have all of June, July, and August that we could get singles and the album. But just from what we're seeing right now and from what the labels told us about how this album's going to have more promotion and we've yet to see any promotion for the album yet, we've hardly seen any snippets BTs lately from the actual label or Juice's camp that would kind of go on the party never ends or at least some kind of teasing for the album all we have is them just trolling about it when they do mention it and that's basically it it's honestly just dead silence and it's to the point now where i don't even think the community is that hype for this album anymore at least not what it was like i don't know how you could be when we're not getting updates we're not getting snippets we're not getting anything we haven't even gotten a single for the album and it's honestly just like what happened last summer when the leaks and ended up stopping and we got teased go hard and we thought that we were going to be getting that and then fast forward to when we got fighting demons that's what happened with that and this summer we've been waiting for off the rip it seems like that would be a no-brainer option to release and it's to the point now where the hype for the song is honestly just dead it's nothing like what it was at and maybe it could get to that again but it also might not so it just doesn't make sense to not drop this single when it had all that hype i do not care if some Somebody comes up with the argument that the label had just released fighting demons it's only been a few months that's completely fine i'm not saying that the entire party never ends album needs to be out right now that's not what i'm saying at all all I'm saying is, if you have a song that's doing really well, at least trending on Twitter all the time, the whole community wants it, it's not leaked for one, that's a big deal when it comes to the Juice community, I think that it's just a no-brainer to drop this song. Just because you put a single out for a new project doesn't mean the project has to be coming within a month or two or even have to be done yet, but it would just make complete sense to have Off The Rip as the single and had it released sometime in May. I think that would have been the perfect way to start executing this album, and there was already just so much free promo alone just from everything that was going on with Off The Rip's hype on Twitter and just the community in general. Now, I know that Bibby has Z obviously he's been working with and there's some people saying that that's the reason we're not getting this album is because they're focusing in on z and they're definitely putting time and resources into z and his music and his career but i definitely don't think that that's the reason we're not getting this album yet it might honestly just be because they're just really ticked off about everything that had happened with the leaks and everything but i just find it so hard to believe that they wouldn't want to drop the album just because of leaks that obviously didn't stop LD, that didn't stop fighting demons i don't see why that would stop anything now but maybe i'm missing a point maybe i'm missing something i just don't see the reasoning behind that at the end of the day we just want to see new juice music get released whether it's leaked songs or not it's always just a great feeling when a new juice album is about to drop or does drop whether it's from the label now or not it's just annoying to see what's going on all i'm really asking for at the end of the day is just for some kind of communication when the label seems like that's what they wanted to do a couple months ago when they were saying that they wanted to take our advice and how this album was going to have promo to it and everything it seemed like that's what they wanted as well but maybe they just don't want to go ahead with the whole party never end 
and concept and idea. I think it would be dumb for them to not use that just because so many people already know about it and that whole theme and just that album in general. It's been showcased on YouTube, TikTok, everyone's discussed it. So it would just make sense for them to drop that album still. That's all for this video, guys. I just want the label to be more transparent with us and more clear with what their plans are, at least, or what they want to do, or at least some kind of update regarding the album so we can actually have an idea of what's going on. But with all this being said, thank you guys for watching and supporting me. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.